Yeah, so about the whole going for a walk. Yeah. I'll have to like record inside the or something. <laughs> but uh, I asked and I received. I wanted snow and not freezing rain. So we got lots and lots of snow. <laughs> so, as I related earlier in that clip I recorded on my way to class, uh, I can't really go for a walk today without worrying for my safety because it looks kind of like that outside. I'm trying to move the camera. Yeah, really, really big difference from yesterday. <laughs> All of a sudden, it's very snowy, very icy, and just in general, not cool. Um, so I'm just kind of hanging out in my room. It's not exactly the cleanest place. <laughs> um... Yeah, kind of dirty. So I'm just going to keep my computer on my desk and not show too much of the place. <laughs> uh, it's amazing. I've been back for a week and a half and already trashed the room. Well, kind of trashed. <laughs> um, so, let's see. What has happened since yesterday when I recorded the first video? Um, not all that much, really. <laughs> like, I told you guys about my two classes, I suppose, yesterday. The other two were a couple band things. Uh, one literally being just scheduling lessons, <laughs> and the other being just jazz band, where we spent over half the time just talking and or sorting music. Because <laughs> apparently someone screwed up the folders and the music was all out of order. I don't really know what's going on for this performance, but everybody said the music needs to be sorted. And there were numbers, so I sorted them. Because <laughs> I do love doing that. Um, other than that, last night I kind of... I fell asleep really easily last night, which was strange. I don't normally do that. Like, I napped twice yesterday. <laughs> One uh, at about 2 o'clock to about 3.30, which was when Jasmine was. So I literally woke up and went to Jasmine. <laughs> and then afterwards, probably... I started dozing at probably about 7.30, and I just climbed up in my bed and woke up again at 10.30. <laughs> so then I was up, <laughs> and that was interesting. So, um, and this morning, nothing much happened. <laughs> uh, had a few classes, um, just theory and government, which I really I don't think I'm going to like that class, but it's gen ed that I got to take, and I will take it, because I'm supposed to know the government, even if I disagree with it, but that's beside the point, but uh, then <laughs> on my way to my English class, which I had the hour off in between my government and English class, which is the 11 to noon hour, which is what I said I'd be recording in. So, but it was kind of bad, and uh, Ryan was actually back, so I, I, I don't know, for the first little while, I kind of wanted to do this on my own, without anybody around, so I was, if I could get, if I could, like, turn this better without needing to hold it, there, I suppose that'll work, I need a better lighting on my face, because we don't have lights on right now, and that gives a better idea of the mess. <laughs> Um, however, one interesting thing, I'm not covering the mic at all with how I'm holding my computer. Um, in my English class, we actually had to read an article for today that I skimmed. <laughs> I didn't read all that much of it, or very in-depth. But when we talked about it in class, it kind of interested me because I, I can relate to it, not because it applies to me, but because I know people it does apply to <laughs> And it was about people who say they're busy all the time. Let me turn that down. Um, like, the article, I have it up here, I can kind of pull it up. Convenience, convenience of being at home. Um, like, it's basically, who wrote it was some writer, I think his name is Tim Creeder, I guess. Um, basically, he's talking about how People who claim to be busy all the time, a lot of it is self-imposed, and a lot of it is unnecessary. 
So people make themselves busy in order to cope with, I don't know, the not wanting to not have anything to do, <laughs> I guess. And I, I, I agree with him completely. I mean, I, I'm not describing it the greatest. I could probably even put a link in the video description or something. Because I have the article here. I actually need to fully read it myself by Friday, so... I was supposed to do it first, but I didn't. I just skimmed it because I forgot and I needed to do it. So I skimmed the five minutes before I had to go to class. Um, but I totally agree with what he said because I've definitely seen that. People who give themselves zero free time because every single minute of their lives they need to be doing something. They can't just relax and do something that they enjoy because if they're not if they aren't busy then they're what they're doing is completely unimportant. So I know a lot of people like that. And a lot of people who get very defensive when I try to bring up my point of chill and give yourself some free time. <laughs> like, it astonishes me the amount of my friends who, not, having gone to college now, are constantly busy. And it's like, it's not that much different from high school. You have as much free time, easily, probably even more. Because... I, I, well, I admit to not having the most, the hardest workload, but it's not the easiest either, so I have plenty of time to myself. And I'm playing with cards because I need my, <laughs> my hand feels the need to occupy itself by doing something. So I, I will stop doing that. But, like I said, that's it. Like I said, I haven't read it fully. But I skimmed it, and what we talked about in class was very interesting. So I want, I'll probably link it, because I know some people that could use reading it and remembering that. See my little Zelda calendar in the background. I don't know how to work my fingers in the background thing. There. <laughs> Picked that up at the Wall of America last fall. Finally get to use it, because it's finally <laughs> 2013. Oh, that's... One of the pride and joys of my room, and the only thing that's not really... That's the only thing that's not dirty, is the post-it board, because we don't do anything with it. <laughs> All it has is the calendar that we don't even use. We just have it because it's Zelda. Um, what are the friends picking up outside? Oh, that's another thing. I want to do apologize about the wind in the yesterday's thing. Um, I noticed that when I was uh, re-rendering it from... Uh, when I got home, as the wind got really loud, <laughs> and it might have been hard to hear me at points, which I sincerely apologize for. Like I said, this hand needs to be doing something. Like, I'm grasping out at absolutely anything, because it's not doing anything. <laughs> um, so, I think yesterday I brought up something that I didn't want to go into in-depth into yesterday because I was already talking for so long but when it comes to my channel and what I'm doing uh, I've realized that since I started this I've started and I start I watch a very different kind of youtubers now I guess that's a poorly worded sentence but you get the point like I watch a lot different videos like when I first started let's playing I was watching the people who were like I'm doing one let's play at a time I will play one game until it's done then I will move on to the next game and that was how I did things for the longest time and it was like don't don't do two at the same time it'll push you too thin don't do it most people, people won't watch and I've moved to the people a lot of the people who originate with Minecraft who they put out four or five videos a day I mean a lot of these are the people who are technically employed by YouTube so they earn a living off of it so they put up videos in order to get revenue but 
I see this and it's like, yeah, that's more of how I always wanted to do it. I didn't want to feel bad about putting up two videos a day. These people are putting up three or four or five. And I much prefer that because I had always felt before that I needed to limit myself. Like, I needed to not put videos up more than once a day. I, would, I can't do two series in one day because of the people I originally started watching and that's what I learned the basics of Let's Playing from. So, that's a lot of my thoughts have changed about that. Ugh, my nose is itching. That's probably just because I was outside in the cold. It's also running. <laughs> that's the same reasoning. Uh, stupid snow. I, I much prefer this to yesterday. <laughs> I'd much rather have it like this than it was yesterday, because yesterday was just mud and ice. That's it. I'd rather have snow and ice than mud and ice, because mud is nasty. I really hate mud, and I love snow. I hate ice. I love snow. Just, I, I don't know. But this time of year is kind of the reason I like Wisconsin. So, because it's... Do you have a reason? Just <laughs> That was always my... Thing as a kid, no, it's, it's, I love the winter because I had an excuse not to go outside. Because <laughs> back in the day, everybody's just like, "Yeah, go play outside. Go play outside. You need to go outside." I'm like, "No, it's cold. I don't want to. I've never wanted to go outside. I don't want to play outside." Well, this is more like after I grew up a bit, so it was probably like 10, 11, starting to get a higher up in school. It's like, I didn't want to go outside and play anymore. It didn't, it didn't interest me. But, so, those, that's kind of my thoughts on sort of Let's Play style that I've kind of grown accustomed to watching. And I've kind of almost stopped watching the old, the people I used to watch. And I'm playing with my DS game. This hand. Stop. Stop. I will hold it right here. On my shoulder to stop it from doing something um but that's the thing i still have problems recording like i don't ever get enough time to record well and so i don't think i could do what they do but i like the thought of not imposing limits on myself like the only limitations should be what i can and can't do instead of what i shouldn't do so if I ever go back to playing games, it's not going to be... It, like, if I have multiple series, I won't feel bad about running two games at a time. Like, that... <laughs> like, I remember... I remember back in the day, it was... Spencer was all up in arms when I tried to start a second <laughs> video series at the same time. Which I think happened to be Bionicle Heroes. Which ended up doing really, really well. <laughs> He's like, no, don't do that, don't do that. It's going to end badly. You're going to put up, put up too much content and people aren't going to watch. The other thing, the other thing along those lines is uh, the video length. Like, I've found that I prefer to watch longer videos rather than shorter videos. Especially if you get one a day. If you get one video a day, I would rather watch as much as possible in that day. And I don't know how that applies to everybody else, but I've grown accustomed to watching half an hour videos. Like, just regardless, somewhere between... Below 20 minutes is short now, for what I'm used to watching. <laughs> so, uh, I've, when, I, when and if, I'm assuming when, if I go back to doing Let's Plays constantly, or at least more, at least often enough to say that I actually do it, um, there'll probably be longer videos and more frequent videos because I don't know. I've grown accustomed to this, so I would rat. I would rather put up videos to please someone like myself than to please other people because I don't do this. I don't technically do this channel for you guys. I do it for myself. Same thing with these videos. I do it because it's a relaxing time for me and just something I enjoy doing so I don't do it in order to get views I got lucky and I started to get views 
And even, even then, I'm still on the very, very low end of the spectrum. But I don't know. We'll see. Um, another thing, it'll definitely be a lot easier for me to do cooperative stuff with uh, Ryan, Wayward Haymaker, as you may know him on YouTube. Um, because there's his bed. <laughs> um, so, when we get back into it, it'll be a lot easier to do things, to find time to work together to play games. <laughs> because we can just it can just be, okay, tonight, we'll do something. Okay. Um, I think that's about all I wanted to talk about today. Uh, don't have much else. Got some reading to do tonight. So hopefully I don't forget to do it or fall asleep. I'm not as tired as I was yesterday. Yesterday I was just really tired. So I forgot there, I had to sneeze. And when I sneeze, they are not pleasant to listen to. So don't. Don't expect me to leave them in. And I hope nobody wants to because that's really creepy. So, I will see you guys later. And I guess see you tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of guessing. See you guys later.